Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to be showing you some of the best commands that you can use in AutoCAD to make your life a lot easier. So let's get right into it. So there's a lot of commands that are really helpful and useful when you're actually doing drawings in AutoCAD. And my absolute favorite command that for some reason nobody knows about is the DYN mode command or DIN mode or Dyn mode or whatever you want to say to pronounce it. And how you activate that is quite simple. So what you do is you come down here, you click uh, the command bar, you type in DYN mode, and you're going to see you're going to have a command pop up. You're going to want to press enter and you're going to want to enter a new value. So mine is currently set to three. Yours might be one or two. And you're going to want to go and set that to three. So if you set that to three, what you have now is the ability to, instead of going to the command bar, typing in your commands, you're going to be able to just start typing wherever you are at any point in the drawing or at, at any point in your workflow to just use any command you want. So I'll give you an example. So instead of going up here, clicking the line, and then drawing a line, instead of doing that, I can simply put my cursor where I want to start my line. I type in line, and you're going to see the line command is going to show up. I press that, I then click and I use the command as I would normally. And then once that's done, I press escape. So this is one of, again, one of my favorite tools and I recommend all of you turn it on. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. So let's get on to the next one. Okay, so the next command you guys are gonna to wanna to really learn and pay attention to, especially if you're new to the program and you're you know stuck using lines right now instead of polylines, you're gonna to wanna to know the join command. So what the join command does is, as you can see, if I hover over my lines here, they're all different lines that I have to select manually and what the join command does is it will join them together and I guess you could say it's as if it was a polyline. So if I go to my polyline I'll just give you an example if I go here and start clicking around you're going to see I can hover anywhere on this line and each line segment is part of the same line. That is not the case here I have to go here and click all of these. Um, so anyways let's get into it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in join. You're going to want to select the objects you want to join together so I'm just going to select all of these right here and then I'm going to press enter. So once I do that, you're going to see it's going to be connected and it's going to be a polyline. Now I didn't select this one and you can see that it is not selected and it is still separate from the main polyline that I just joined together. So that's the second command. Okay, so the next command is quite interesting. Um, and what it does is it restores uh, what you just erased without having to, you know, control Z. So what does that mean? Okay, well, let's say I select this and I erase all this. It's gone. So if you type in the command oops, no, this is an actual command. You type in zero or O O O P or sorry, it's it's two O's P S. And you're gonna see we have an actual command called oops. You press and use the oops command and it will bring your stuff back. So that is the third command that I think is very useful that you should be using. If you guys are learning AutoCAD, you wanna learn how to do it in a professional setting and you want to learn how to learn it the proper way then go check out our latest presentation i'm going to leave a link to that right in the top right hand corner we're going to go over a little roadmap to get you started in learning autocad at a professional level so we'll touch on how to master the basics we'll teach you how you can learn to do real proper design work and we're going to base all of this off of certification so if that interests you go check out that webinar it's completely free. Just sign up, put in your email, and then you will be taken directly to that web class. So guys, take care. Hopefully this helps you. So the next command is going to be the close all command. Pretty self-explanatory. You can see here I have all these drawings open at the top. It's going to allow me to close down all my drawings. So if I type in close all, I press enter. It's going to say save changes. I'm not going to save changes and I'm just going to click no. And you can see it's cycling through and closing all my drawings and I don't have to worry about a thing. So that is the last command that I hope you guys find helpful. Again, hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to the channel. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.